Here's a couple of things about the crossbow that you need to be aware of. First off, the barrel right here, the rail. Make sure it's nicely lubricated because there's so much friction created from the string sliding across. If it's not lubricated, it'll wear down your string right quick. Another thing is on the striker, the, the, it'll come with a caulking device like this, just a rope caulking device with a couple little hooks on it. The way that I like to caulk it, and it's really, really simple, take it and come across your recoil pad like that and come down and hook the little hooks like this onto the string, just like this. And then you square up the handle just like this, and you'll notice the hooks are pointing back and not forward. I like it back. And then I put my foot in the stirrup, and then all I wind up doing is pull straight back, just like that. Again, make sure that the rope cocking device is behind the recoil pad. It'll give you a whole lot more leverage and help you cock that crossbow a whole lot easier. If you know of a crossbow that has a better trigger than the Striker 380, I want to hear from you, because this dude right here is bad to the bone. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna load it up. And the trigger on it, it's actually, it's a three pound trigger pull. And that's better than a lot of rifles on the market. So if you got a better trigger on a crossbow, let me hear from you. Now we're gonna take a shot and just see what happens. It's just what I wanna do right there. Now, one of the cool things about Pennsylvania is that crossbows are legal during archery season. You gotta, you gotta think that's pretty progressive. Uh, there's a lot of states that think that uh, crossbows should be, uh, well, put off limits unless you're handicapped or whatever. And I'm a believer that if you hunt, I'm for you. Whether you hunt with a crossbow, you hunt with a, a compound, a recurve, a, a long range rifle, a handgun, I could care less as long as you're a hunter, I'm for you. <laughs>